Hi YouTube and welcome back to my channel. So I decided this is the new year and even though I've kind of made a video kind of reflecting on 2016 and kind of what my goals are for uh, 2017, I wanted to make a video specifically about one kind of thing that I've been thinking about lately and uh, look, it's kind of like a forward-looking thing, but um, I want to make 2017 um, my year of being selfish. <laughs> um, meaning that for a good part of my life, I have spent a lot of time focusing on um, taking care of other people. Um, I spent a lot of time taking care of my grandmother and my mother, um, kind of indirectly uh, in some ways, since she had her own apartment and I lived with my grandmother, um, at least until my mom moved in with her and the whole long complicated thing there. But I spent a lot of time, especially after my grandfather passed away, um, I kind of became the grown up of the family because apparently both of my mom and my grandmother just kind of devolved into uh, toddlerhood for a while there and no one knew how to, deal with taxes, no one knew how to deal with bank accounts, that was all things that my grandfather did. So I kind of taught myself and started helping manage um, the household a little bit. Um, and then this was when I was, you know, I was 11 at the time and then uh, when I was 17 my mom moved out and got her own place and I stayed with my grandmother. And so I kind of helped continue to help her with, with all of those kind of things. And so for a very long time, I mean, we were taking care of each other in many ways. I mean, she cooked um, while, because I was busy in school and um, working jobs and things. I mean, I had my own job um, at least part-time since I was 14. Um, I started with babysitting, and then once I was in high school, I continued babysitting, but then I also had an office job after school as well. Um, and I continued doing that in college where it was a different office, but I did, I did office work while I was in college while working several babysitting jobs um, on the side. Thankfully, once I was able to put the children to bed, I could study and stuff, so um, it wasn't terrible. It was, it was perfectly fine to, to do that. But um, at the same time, you know, I still I needed to work. Um, I needed to help bring in money because um, besides the income I had, all we were living on was my grandmother's social security income and that was it. So and that was barely enough just to cover the rent and her medication. Because uh, as much as, you know, she had Medicare and she had supplemental health insurance on top of Medicare and so, but I kind of had to, I, I had to help out. Um, I didn't really have a choice. It was, it was either that or um, we weren't going to eat, <laughs> basically. So yes, um, so I spent a lot of time, you know, uh, dealing with that and then also dealing with my mom and her alcoholism and trying to help, you know, uh, buy her groceries as well um, at times because she didn't always have the money for groceries. So, you know, just, you know, one thing after another and I was kind of like the caretaker of the family and then I finally kind of had it <laughs> and, um, and I ended up moving to Colorado and my mom, you know, my mom got another job and everything and then my mom, my, then my grandmother got sick and um, she passed, passed on and my mom just kind of took care of herself after that and, and thankfully she did all right, except for her drinking, which, you know, ultimately led to her passing about 11 years ago, but there was nothing we could do to get her to stop drinking, so we kind of gave up on that. Um, long story short there, but she just, she didn't want the help. She really didn't, and none of the programs that we had her in took, so we just kind of had to take a step back, and we were like, okay, this is your life, and this is your choice, and there's not much we can do about it. So, but anyway, that was my, my younger years. Um, and then I moved in with my now ex-boyfriend. Um, uh, he came from the Netherlands and I came from Chicago and he got a job here working for HP, he was an engineer. And that's what got me out to Colorado. So we were living together and I was in some ways taking care of him. <laughs> Um, we shared um, equally on uh, all expenses in the, in the house and everything. 
Um, I started working just retail uh, out here because I couldn't find a teaching job. My, that was my background was education and teaching. And um, I didn't realize that uh, the demand for teachers wasn't the same everywhere like it was in Chicago. In Chicago, there's always a demand for teachers. Um, where in, in Colorado, especially where I live here, there's a university and it's constantly graduating new teachers all the time and people want to stay here. It's a great town. So there's waiting lists of people trying to get into a teaching position out here. So I decided to change careers and everything else. Uh, while um, I was doing all the cooking, all the cleaning, etc., um, for my boyfriend at the time, and uh, eventually that relationship fell apart for um, a lot of reasons, mainly because we grew apart and we hardly ever saw each other because he was busy doing his thing, I was busy doing my thing, and um, it we just realized that we weren't that as compatible as we thought we were. So that kind of ended. Um, I have been in touch with him and he's now happily married. He's got two kids. You know, I, I'm still kind of sort of in touch with them. And um, so I'm kind of, you know, I'm, I'm happy that, that things worked out for him. And that was good. And and for me, I, I got married and, and, you know, I moved on into another relationship as well. Um, it was about five, six years between the end of that relationship and when I met uh, my husband, but um, so there was there was a period of time there where I was primarily focused on taking care of myself and um, just, you know, just kind of living life and just kind of furthering my career and that kind of thing. And then, you know, then I met my husband and, um, you know, for the most part, I mean, it, things started off fairly equally, but then once we moved in together and things, it became quickly... Um, <laughs> one of those situations where I really kind of needed to take care of him. Uh, and I just wondered, like, how the heck did you take care of yourself before I came along? And the bottom line was that he really didn't. Um, and it's one of the reasons why um, his health wasn't that great um, all the time. Um, he, you know, ate junk food a lot. Um, he didn't clean up after himself, so his house was a mess. And so, you know, here I come in and, you know, and he wasn't a misogynist or anything like that where he was like, you, you must, you're a woman, you go in the kitchen and cook. Um, it was more like, well, if I didn't go in the kitchen and cook, we just had to go out to eat or order in or whatever, because uh, he was not cooking. <laughs> he could barely make a ramen on his own. So um, it was more of a, a necessity, force necessity for me to, uh, to, uh, to take care of him. Um, and then as things progressed with his illness, with his uh, depression and things, um, he relied on me more and more and more. And so I, you know, especially in the last, I'd say, five years, um, really kind of focused a lot more of my attention on him and his needs and, and, and kind of pushing back my own um, ambitions and, and everything else. And I was happy to do so. I mean, you know, I love the guy and I wanted to make him feel wanted and, and needed and 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 everything else and I wanted him to to know that that I cared about him and you know so that he wouldn't do what he did but he did so you know I, I won't rehash that whole thing again but you know bottom line is I spent a lot of time taking care of him and I would have been happy to do so for the rest of my life if he were still here but he's not so I've decided, you know, especially last year, um, a lot of my time was dedicated towards um, dealing with all of the estate stuff because he left behind a complicated mess, um, just to put it lightly. And so that took a lot of time and dealing with lawyers and accountants and just all this stuff. And, you know, first, hashtag first world problems here. I know uh, I, it's... It was a good problem to have, ultimately, because of of the size of his estate and everything. But, you know, it, I, I could not focus on my business. I could not focus on myself because I had to spend so much time dealing with all of that. So at the end of the day, I kind of sat down um, recently and was thinking about it. It's like, you know what, I really need to take some time for myself and focus on myself I need to rebuild my business. Um, I've really been neglecting it the last few years um, because of, of how much time uh, was demanded of me to take care of Dave and then of, of dealing with the estate. So there's, so there's that. And then 
Um, so I need to rebuild my business, you know, uh, I want to focus on my novel writing and I'm hoping that not only do I get the first book published, but I'm hoping to be able to turn it into um, a series of books. Um, I'm th thinking off the top of my head, I have enough ideas for it to do um, a full three books, so a trilogy would be great. Um, we'll see if that happens, but... <laughs> That's kind of like in my head, my thinking is, and, I, and I've mentioned this before, is I, I really want to work more on, on writing and and possibly make that a source of income for myself because I just really love doing it and, you know, it would be nice if I could earn some income. That way I can kind of offset when I'm not working with my consulting. Um, but yeah, I want to rebuild the business. I want to work on the novels. and. Um, Everyone does this whole resolution thing of I want to lose weight, whatever. I don't necessarily want to lose weight. I mean, if I did lose weight, it would be good. Um, I mean, health-wise, I'm okay right now. Um, all my cholesterol, all my blood sugar, etc. is all healthy, normal levels um, from the last time I got tested. So I should be fine there. But at the same time, if I did lose weight, it would, it would not be a bad thing. Um, but it's not um, a focus of mine. My focus, however, is um, just to try and maintain my health levels. Um, I am getting older. Um, there are cancer risks in my family. There's heart disease risks in my family. So I know I need to kind of take better care of myself. That means exercising more. Um, I'm not going to say that, hey, I'm going to, you know, do this much exercise and everything. As much as, like, I want to exercise more than I did last year. I have a lot of data from my, uh, from my Fitbit in terms of how much I did last year, and let's see if I can't do more this year. That's the goal, uh, is just do more. <laughs> so maybe... Um, I get up and, and walk around and, and go up, the, up and down the stairs, you know, uh, a few more times in the day than I did last year. Because uh, I could easily sit in my office for six, eight hours straight and not move at all. And that's bad for a number of reasons. One, I'm completely sedentary. And two is I'm not drinking enough fluids because I'll, I'll uh, finish whatever I was drinking and then I won't go get something else. Um, and so I kind of let myself get dehydrated. So that's not good. I need to fix that. Um, I need to uh, work on uh, getting better sleep. I'm getting enough sleep. I mean, since I don't really have a set work schedule, I just go to bed whenever and I get up whenever, and so I just let myself sleep. But it's just so erratic, and some nights I sleep seven hours, and some nights I sleep four hours, and I just wake up, and then I just can't get back to sleep again. So I need to kind of get onto a more regular schedule so that I can get more regular sleep and hopefully more sleep. Um, like today, I just, I tossed and turned last night and I just, I'm really exhausted today because I just did not get enough sleep even though I should have had enough. Um, I know I went to bed like 1, 1 a.m. and I, I woke up at about 8 um, and then I went back to sleep and woke up again about 9.30 and you'd think that, you know, I got a good seven or eight hours of, of, of time in bed but um, according to my Fitbit, I only get about four hours of actual sleep. And I have to agree with that because I kept waking up and I, I had a couple of hot flashes last night, which didn't help because <laughs> uh, that always wakes me up. Um, and so I was just like, I was just laying in bed, just not being able to sleep, which drove me crazy. Um, so I need to kind of work on trying to get into a more regular routine with my sleep. Um, and then also adding in the exercise and then just kind of continuing to focus on eating healthy. I've been pretty good with my eating over the holidays. Of course, you get a lot of junk. And so I'm like, okay, I'm done with the junk now. Uh, let's, let's kind of cut that out and go back to just eating healthy for a while. Um, that doesn't mean to say that I won't treat myself on occasion, but um, I really need to stop doing like the daily little treat here, little treat there kind of thing. Because that's, uh, once the holidays are over, I, I, I'm pretty good about staying pretty dedicated to eating healthy. Because there's a lot of really tasty foods out there that are healthy, you know, having fruit instead of chocolate and that kind of thing. Although chocolate once in a while is good because there is there are some healthy properties to chocolate, so. Uh, so there is that. <laughs> but, you know, not eating the chips and dip and um, those kind of b bad things for me. Um, you know, trying to keep the processed foods out of my diet, that kind of thing. So 
yeah, I want to focus a lot more on just me. This is the year of me. I'm going to be all about me. <laughs> um, and just for a year, just be completely selfish and you know what, you know, if I don't want to do it, I'm just not going to do it. And, and, and you know, um, that's just, that's just, I just need a year of just focusing on myself and, and just taking care of myself. Um, that's another reason why I'm, I'm going to be fairly adamant about not getting into a relationship this year. Now, if Mr. Wonderful, perfect, everything wanders into my life tomorrow, um, am I going to turn down the opportunity? I don't know. I don't know. Um, but I, I'm not holding my breath if that's going to happen either. Um, and, you know, I, I've already said I don't think I want to actively seek out um, a new relationship anytime soon anyway. Um, but I think I want to um, very much kind of avoid um, getting into a relationship. You know, I mean, like I said, if someone just happens to come along and, and we have chemistry and we both are interested in each other and we're both single and everything else, um, am I going to completely say, you know, no, thank you, you know, come back in a year? Probably not. I don't know. It's just one of those things. But um, I just really want to focus on me this year and being in a relationship, you really can't um, I know people do. Uh, I know there are people out there that are, are very capable of being selfish in a relationship, but I'm not that kind of person. I can't be selfish in a relationship. So I, that's one of the reasons I want to try and avoid getting into one so that I, you know, because I just can't be in a relationship and be selfish. I need to be able to take care of my partner as, you know, I'd like to have a partner who takes care of me. Um, not financially, I don't need, I, I don't need a sugar daddy or anything like that, but from an emotional, um, t perspective, it's emotional, psychological, just, um, that kind of thing, intellectual, um, having someone who I could sit down and have long conversations with, um, that's, I think, the, the thing I miss, um, the most from Dave was the fact that we could sit, like, almost every evening we would get together after dinner, sit in the living room, we'd watch TV first, um, but then we eventually, like, okay, we're, we're done watching, and we'd sit there and we'd talk. And we'd talk for hours sometimes, up into the wee hours of the morning sometimes, about all sorts of things, you know, anything and everything we talked about, about personal stuff with each other, just um, current events of the day, and, you know, we just, we just clicked when it came to that, and it was something that we really both enjoyed doing, was talking to each other. And so, um, yeah, I really, I really do miss having that, um, that, that, because I mean, I have my friends and we, we, and we talk, but I don't quite have that level of chemistry with my friends as I do with, with my husband, um, with, with that. So, um, so that's something I'm going to miss, but uh, in the meantime, you know, I just have a lot of things I just want to focus on, and I'm going to be selfish about it, and that's just the way it is. Um, that even goes for, for this channel. It's like, you know what, um, for this next year, do, do I want to maintain my YouTube uh, channel? Yes, I do. Uh, but I am going to post when I want and what I want um, going forward. Um, that's kind of what I've been doing <laughs> the last year. Um, uh, am I going to be more frequent? I don't know. I want to. Um, but I need the inspiration to have something to talk about. And so, like today, I, I, I decided, you know what? Because I, I, I kind of debated between doing this as a blog post or doing this as a vlog, and I decided to, to just kind of talk to the camera and ramble like I usually do. But, um, but yeah, that's, that's basically my focus for this year is to be selfish. Take care of myself for change. And, um, and then we'll see where, where 2018 leads me. Um, but I just, I, I just need one year of, of just me. Um, and, and, and I don't, um, I don't think that that's a wrong thing to do. I think it's good for all of us to take some time for ourselves 
and take care of ourselves and not just give everything. Um, and that's kind of what I was doing and it was draining me quite a bit. I was feeling that um, near the end before he passed on and maybe he picked up on that too, I don't know. There's that guilt factor going in there. Um, but I tried to hide it <laughs> as best as I could. Uh, but there's, you know, there's just, it, it, it's very draining to constantly give of yourself without getting as much in return. Um, but when someone has that level of depression um, to, to, to the depth and the extent that he did, um, he had to give everything of himself to the depression. He didn't have enough to give to other people. Um, and I understood that. And that's one of the reasons why I tried not to let him see how much it was draining me because I didn't want that to affect him. I didn't want him to feel guilty for neglecting me to a certain extent because he, I know he didn't want to. I know he didn't mean to, um, but the, the depths of despair that he was in, it, he just couldn't get out of that bubble. Um, I know he was trying to. I do know he was trying to. We talked about, that was one of the many things we talked about because we, we, we talked a lot about where he was at. Um, he didn't tell me everything, but that's just, um, you know, and, and I'm, I'm so grateful that I don't have depression. I mean, I have had some depression with the, um, with the grieving and everything, which is normal, but I don't have the chronic clinical depression that he did. Um, and I am slowly coming out of my funk and I'm starting to become more active and I'm like, okay, I do need to work on my business. I do need to work on myself. I do need to focus on some things and not just sit around at the house with, like a lump on a log, you know, in my jammies um, all day long. I need to go out and I need to do stuff. And I need to do it for myself. Um, and, and just kind of get out there and just live. I just, I think that's the best thing I can do um, to honor my husband is to go out there and just live my life. I can't stop living. I think that's the number one thing. Anyway, that's my ramble for this time around, and I hope I didn't bore you completely to tears. Until uh, next time, I hope you all take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>